P-I-P-S, in the top of the echelon, in the crystallized theater of the skies above, Blast Training Institute, talking to you today about three critical exercises for building mass and aesthetics in your arms that you are currently not doing. All right, welcome back guys. So we're gonna get right into it. So we're gonna start off with a relatively simple dumbbell tricep extension. So what we're gonna do is, first of all, we're gonna create a hand position whereas you're essentially pushing the bar in this position. Not in this position grabbing the handle of the bar, but in this position. The reason is that it allows you to maintain elbow position close to the ears and partial range of motion stimulation. So here you go. So you're going to go approximately up an inch, down an inch, up an inch, down an inch, circle, opposite circle, and then catch and go. The catch and go is essentially is a movement that allows you to release and then grasp again, thus creating a greater percentage of, of resistance. At the same time, you're creating a level change, stimulating again the long head of the tricep. Second motion, rotating back into the bicep position, again, grasping a relatively light amount of weight and allowing the range of motion and the angular changes to create the resistance, not the poundage. Thus, deterring ligament, joint, bone, impactful injuries that are completely preventable with this fast switch type of format. So I'm gonna take a relatively light amount of weight 15 pounds, that's all it is. I'm gonna tuck my elbows at my rib position. All I'm gonna do, toss approximately an inch in the air. Every single time that I'm catching, I'm creating a different stimulant. The body is a hell of a tool, but the one thing it can't do is inconsistent Range of motion. Great pin pusher, but not good at inconsistent range of motion. So all we're doing is hold here. This is essentially creating a 90 degree mark to hit the brachial radialis, which is here. This is essentially the building ground of your bicep. Once you create the brachialis uh, stimulatory factor in this position, your bicep is going to pop through the rooftop of Mount St. Excellence. So here's your position again. Short range of motion. Catch. Tuck again. Push up an inch. Down an inch. Up an inch. Down an inch. Catch again. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Hold again. Four. Three. Push back up. Four. Three. Short again. Five. Four. Three, two, one. Number two. Back in the echelon, the crystallized theater of exes in the skies above. Numero tres, three if you will. So all we're gonna do with this exercise, easy bar, that's it. They don't call it easy for nothing. Don't worry about it. All we're gonna do is put our position, the bench is gonna be in a slightly lower incline position. And we're gonna do, again, hit the most critical elements of the tricep itself. The long head, the ham hop to the apex. And we're gonna roll with this. Sit comfortably, weight again, relatively light. All we're gonna do is go to the very top of the, the bench Neck is going to be comfortably placed. Hand position on this is going to be open. 
instead of grabbing the bar. The reason that we want it open is because when you grab the bar, you're going to engage the forearm. All we want to do is engage the tricep. So we want to minimize the engagement of the accessory muscles and maximize the engagement of the primary muscle group. In this case, the long head. So again, catch and release. Just like you do when you catch a blue tarpon, 355 pounds floating in the Pacific Ocean, rolling, grinding to the top of the tip of your boat, and you bring it back in. So all we're doing on this, seriously, taking the bar, catch and release, catch and release, just like you should with your fish. Catch and release, catch and release, Hold again, level change right here. This is the level change. So you're gonna go up an inch, down an inch, up an inch, down an inch. Shortens again, catch and release again. Activating, again, the long head and not the supporting muscle fiber. Halfway up again, up an inch, down an inch, up an inch, down an inch, up an inch, up an inch. Two. One more time, halfway up, up an inch. This time I'm burning, down an inch, up an inch. Down and short again. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Woo! I gotta say, that was a burn, brothers and sisters. All right, guys, so let's go over the three critical components of what we talked about today and the exercise is most important. Number one, we did a dumbbell overhead. Again, targeting the long head of the tricep, the very rear part of the tricep, the biggest bang for the buck. Number two, we did simple level changes with lightweight dumbbells, and all we did was change from a low position, middle position, to a 75% position, but we maintained inconsistent variation. Number three, we went right back to a very simple, easy bar in an incline position, and we did a catch and release, catch and release, catch and release. Again, forcing the body to stay away from the accessory supporting muscle groups and targeting the primary muscle group that we are attempting to hit for that day. Guaranteeing you a pie in the sky, 20 inch python. But most importantly, hit that subscribe button, turn on your notifications so that you don't miss any of our further content. And as always, if it doesn't challenge you 100%, it will not change you, baby. Woo!